back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we promised you all that we were going to take a look at Bel Air, and we did. Yes, indeed, and man. And immediately we got hooked. But honestly, we didn't expect much out of it. We just thought it was going to be something nice and cute. Yeah, Take yeah. us back to our childhood and whatever. But episode man. one. <laughs> oh, man, they delivered. Man, yeah. We looked at each other and said, oh, no, we're doing <laughs> yeah. this. We are doing this. Because we actually thought they was going to mess it up. I was like, yeah. we going to mess up the original Fresh Prince of Bel-Air the way we remember it when we was growing up. Yeah, man. because there's two shows that you just don't touch. <clears throat> Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Martin. And we, we see that Martin is never mind. But let's just go ahead and get into it. Before we all ask, yes, we are on a, in a different location. We are yeah, on I'm vacation. Right. So I'm going to put this on my taxes because I'm working on vacation. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and run this. All right. So in episode one, we see that Will is a star basketball player at his high school. Mm -hmm. And he have a friend named Trey, and Trey is crazy as hell. <laughs> I love them two together. Always have. He, he remind he remind me of my friends in school, man. When I was back in high school, always cutting up and stuff. So we found out that tonight in tonight's basketball game, uh, the VCU scouts yeah. is gonna be coming to watch him play. Um, and I we got excited because you know VCU is in Richmond, you know where we at, you know hometown Single RBA. Center all day. Yeah, so we was like, bet Will was going to freaking VCU to play ball. And, you know, that's if he impressed the scouts. So but here's the thing. Because we know the storyline, we know that that yeah. wasn't going to happen. Yeah, so we, we all were like, don't. Like, we were sitting there watching it, although we were like, are they going to throw a monkey wrench in it? Like, are they going to change yeah. up the storyline a little bit? But no, we, we... But we was hoping that they at least was going to show VCU. Right, right. Yeah, that he was going to actually take, come, and he was gonna come, yeah. and he was gonna come and visit the school. Yeah. But that, nah. They didn't do it. Mm -mm. So we saw it. They had the basketball game that night, and Will yeah, killed he it. Does. He killed it. He killed it so bad, even the VCU scouts was up there cheering. They were, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, because yeah, they're usually poker fans. Yeah, they used, they usually like, yeah. I'm like, y'all into the game? Like, well, that's a good sign that, yeah, that's that not, Will may be playing ball <laughs> with them. And of course, you know, when you a good basketball player, a good anything, you always going to have a ninja that's going to want to hate oh on you. So we saw that Will. And his boy, uh, Trey. Out there eating some Philly cheese steaks. Yeah, eating Philly cheese steaks. I love this argument. Yeah. Because put it down in the comments. <laughs> are you team mayonnaise? I'm not saying mayonnaise. Mayonnaise on your Philly cheese steak or team mustard? Because I'm, that was an argument that they were yeah. having. Yeah, I'm, I'm team mayonnaise. I'm, I am. Putting, I'm, I'm team mayonnaise. But not a, whole, not a whole, whole lot of mayonnaise, though. The mayonnaise. Oh, can, I want a lot. I don't want the mayonnaise <laughs> to take over the sandwich, man. <laughs> take it Just over. give me enough so I can have the taste, man. So they were walking down the street, and this guy named Darrell rolled up on them. And basically, Darrell, well, Darrell was telling him that if I had went to juvie, you wouldn't be getting this, this, the, this scholarship, the potential scholarship to VCU. Cause I'm the best, and of course we see this that Will has a freaking uh, ego, a big ass ego. A big what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for cussing, fam. He got a big old ego, so of course he won't back down. I thought about you know back in the day when it come down to the basketball court, you, you want to challenge yourself. me, you want to challenge me, You're like oh oh yeah, we gonna do it. Let's, let's go. Let's let's do that thing. Yeah, you got it. So Will was like, bet. Oh, no, the world was like, well, if you still got it or you think you better than me, come down to the court tonight. And I was like, Will, don't do like, that. Like, please, Will, don't do that. You got, a, you got a scholarship, man. Don't let this dude talk you out this and get you down the court and they do something to you, either break your leg or yeah, mess up your yeah. shin, keep you from going because you know they're going to hate. So Trey was like, bruh. Come on, bro. It's you been know, three hours. Yes, and, and you still tripping over this? Because the reason that Will was tripping is almost that thing where if he punked you and it, just you and Trey saw it, you probably could live that down. Yeah. But he punked you in front of the whole neighborhood. So now you feel like you got to prove, prove yourself, yourself. Yeah. to the rest of the hood when you ain't even got to do all of that. So as we saw on the court, so they get on the court and... The rebel was like, I couldn't, I can't believe that college boy. And so, you know, you know, you know, you get a scholarship now, you college boy, and you haven't even been yet. Hate, hate on one hundred. Hate is already there. Yeah. So, <clears throat> Will was like, let's do it. And the rebel was like, I don't play for free. And by this time, this dude named Rashad, that's the big neighborhood drug dealer, comes up and be like, He's so corny. Yeah. <laughs> he is so corny. <laughs> and the rebel was like, This is gonna be the deal. If you win, I give you two racks. If you lose, you work for me. 
And I'm like, Will. And Trey was like, nah, mm. don't do that jump. Like, nah, don't do that jump. So it was a lose lose. Whether he won or lost, it was right. a lose lose. Yep. So uh, Will was like, hey, Rashad, can we get that in 20s? He's like, you little cocky motherfucker. <laughs> And of course, we saw it. Will them crush them. And of course, I knew that Darrell wasn't going to take that loss lightly. Mm -mm. That he was going to try to do something. He ended up trying to throw the basketball at Will, threw the basketball, and the basketball ended up hitting Rashad. And Rashad was like, who threw this? And I was like, come on now, Rashad. You see Will and Trey is right here. Right by you, right, yeah, right beside you celebrating. I was had to be somebody that was back behind them to throw it. And Darrell thought that they did it. And of course, Will and his ego and his freaking attitude, he gonna Bow. take he gonna take and hit Darrell. No, by the time, he hit Rashad. I mean, he hit Rashad. Here, I'm sorry. He hit Rashad. Darrell, he took off running because he was scared. So now they turn their sights on the Trey. Yeah. Because now at this point, everybody thinks that Trey did it, and they're stomping the hell out of Trey. Oh, they're stomping the hell out of Trey. <laughs> so then, at this point, Will remembers that beforehand. Trey was like, if we're going to this basketball court, yeah. we're going strap. We're going strap, yeah. So he had a gun in his in his book bag. And the only thing that Will could think of was, they got my boy pinned down. I can't jump in there because they're going to jump me too. Let me go ahead and fire some off in the air. Yeah. I, oh, thought, I actually thought that Will was running. I, I thought Will was going was to leave. I was like, nah. You don't leave nah, this, nah, nah, nah. Don't you Don't you bring him into this BS and then turn around and leave him, man. Yeah. Yeah. So this spun to the point, point that this point the police came. No, hold on. No. He pulled the gun out on Rashad. Oh, that's right. Uh huh. That's right. I almost forgot about that part. Yep. He pulled the gun out on Rashad, and Rashad was like, You better use that. Because or, or, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, I'm going to kill you. So by this time, the police rolled up, throw Will up against the, against the, the what you call it, mm -hmm. and, and, and locked him up and put him in, in prison. In the jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, the, you know how prison. we go straight to prison. Uh, straight to the prison. He in the prison. <laughs> so he in there. He crying. I don't know if he crying out of fear or crying that he feel I like he messed fear, anger, his mama <laughs> regret. You know, like I don't, I don't messed up mm -hmm. this whole opportunity because I want to try to prove myself to yeah. the rail. Nobody that they that don't that even nobody, give a, right. yeah, they don't even care. Yeah, why prove why is it that we do that? Like we try to prove ourselves to somebody that ain't got nothing. Yeah, you know, ain't no making no sense. He pretty much the errand boy for Rashad. Yeah, but we try to prove ourselves to the help for what? And then Rashad, he in there like. So we saw Will was asleep, and the guards came and told him it's time to go. So we flip over and see he in the car with his mama, and of course black mamas. But like, what first, that? before we even get there. When they were taking him out, Rashad was like, hold on, hold on. How did he even yeah, get, get out? Yeah. He ain't even seen the judge yet. Is yeah. he doing some kind of snitching? And I was like, oh, oh hell. So, yeah. So I knew I knew that was going to be a problem. Me too. Yeah, because you get out of jail early. Yeah, you always yeah, like a snitch. You, and I'm like, did you not see that y'all got booked at the same time? And yeah, and he been, never left. Yeah. He never left. He's <laughs> yeah. been in eye vision, um, eyesight of you the entire time. So like, yeah. how he going to snitch? Ah. <sighs> So, Will gets out. He in the car with his mama. And, of course, you know black mamas. You got an opportunity to go to school, and I ain't got to pay for that BS? And you going to go and get into a freaking street fight over some BS? Like you a thug. And then you going to pull a gun out and on the craziest, the craziest drug dealer in Philly? Yeah. And so, they was riding, and Will was like, where, we, where going? we going? She was like, you going to the airport. You going with your uncle and aunt. And, 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 and Bel Air. He was like, what? I don't even, we don't even know them like that. We haven't talked to them in years. He was like, she was like, well. You picked your fate. You, yeah. You you basically, you mess with, um, you mess with uh, uh, Rashad. Rashad. And you know he that he ain't fitting to let that go. But Not then in my mind, I was like, I keep forgetting that back then gangsters were a little different than how they are now. Like right now, mama would have to move too. I don't know. I, it was like that back then. They went not after your family. Not as much. Not as much. Um, they would go after siblings and stuff like that. It was very rare that you see that they would go after the parents and stuff like that. It always was like know. this dividing what line. What y'all think? I don't know. Because I, don't I was know. like, Mama, you need yeah, to I go think, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, where I stand, yeah, I thought that, that it was going to be a problem, but it won't. But I said, um, boss motherfucking move will because um, they had you in the first class. Yeah, man. With the champagne going. And I said, well, wait a minute. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Now, I don't know if they had champagne for him, but we definitely saw the champagne. 
um, being poor. And I said, oh, he in first class. And he's come to find out Will has never left no, West left Philly, Philly yep. ever. That sounded like where I was from. I had never left where I was from. Until when? Uh, until I grew up. When was that? <laughs> <laughs> when I left, I think I left over. Because everybody has a different. Like 17, 18. Okay, because like I said, yeah. some people got a different thing of when they say they grew up. So yeah. I was like, <laughs> like, are we talking 30s? I did that on purpose, I know. <laughs> so we see Will end up in this car with this dude, which we already knew was Jazz. <laughs> I mean, shout out to Jazz. Yeah. He just yeah. got some pretty goddamn skin. <laughs> That's all I can do is his skin is freaking flawless. So he got his ride, his nice ride, you know, the Cali ride <laughs> with the rims on it, you know, with the blue, the lights on the inside, you know, look like they're about ready to light up a blunt. And so he's taking Will to the, to the family house and they pull up and he was like, you ain't tell me we're taking you to these white people. <laughs> I said, really, Jazz? <laughs> you don't know about the banks? <laughs> So when we get there and Jazz was like, you know, this is this gonna be, you know, this is 150, dog, you know. So Will was like, wait a minute, let me go in the house and get the money. I was like, how you know they're gonna pay for the ride? But oh, I guess, yeah. but I guess if they pay for everything else, I guess they'll pay for this too. So this is when we meet Jeffrey. I said, Well come on, Jeffrey. <laughs> wait a minute. So Oh Idris. <laughs> yeah. As he called him. So Jazz ended up shaking him out of two hundred dollars for the ride that was supposed to be one fifty. <laughs> for inconvenience, you know. So, Will goes in the house. He first meets uh, Auntie Viv. Auntie Viv, but she's excited as heck to have him yeah. because she, all she know is, oh, yeah, you are a breath of fresh, fresh air. air. <laughs> you are the reminder of my home. Like, and I was like, okay, Auntie Viv. I'm like, all right now. But the whole time, Jeffrey was trying to get Will bag, yeah, and Will was like, Ninja. Don't touch my stuff. So all Ben was like, it's cool, Jeffrey, go ahead and take the bags on upstairs. So Will goes to the house and meets everybody else. But before that, Will finds out that it's a party going on because Phil is trying to run for district attorney. And so when Aunt right, Vi told Will, hey, you go on upstairs, get yourself settled in. Uh, Will was, Viv. Aunt Viv was like, go upstairs, get yourself settled in. Will was like, nah, I wanna go to the party. I don't wanna, I wanna go see the family. Like, I wanna pay the, my fax to, you know, to Unc. And she was like, this could uh, go really bad. Cause you know, you always have that unseasoned person yeah. that don't know how to work a room. Like at the family function, it's fine. It's cool. We all act a little, little off yeah. when we together. <laughs> but in front of these people right here, I'm gonna need you to code switch a little bit. And she knew that Will was not ready for oh, the no, assignment. He, not, uh, he just got there. Just got there. Yeah, he, he had never been that. out of Philly, so he doesn't know how to how to work uh, a room. So we see that uh, Miss Hillary is an inspiring cook, a yeah. uh, cook influencer. Aunt Viv <laughs> introduces him to Hillary uh, and told Hillary to get him ready for the party. So Hillary takes him to Carlton's, Carlton's room said, and shows him clothes that Carlton, I guess, no longer can fit because no, he, he had never he never had the growth spurt. He never had the growth spurt. So she had some clothes. So she hooked him up with a suit and a pair of shoes. And I was like, I remember that back in the day yeah. when I wanted to go to church with my suit on and my goddamn tennis shoes. And grandma then would be pissed off. So it's you disrespect. Yeah, you disrespect the Lord <laughs> house. House of the Lord with them sneakers on. You need to put some church shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord loves me in my regular shoes. Don't tell them that though. Yeah, but Will Smith was the one that started that though, cause we didn't see that until he did it. <laughs> so she got, so she hooks him up with the clothes. So when Will goes outside, the first person he go up to is Uncle Phil, and Uncle Phil is talking to Fred, Fred, and, and the judge, and the judge, oh, um, judge, 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 Rob, judge. Rob, judge. Yeah, Rob, Robbie, Rob on the job, yeah, Robbie, Rob on the job. And so Will was, you know, trying to pay respects. You know, thank you, Uncle, for looking out, man. You know, this situation was bad. But of course, Uncle Phil don't want these guys to know because he had to do some stuff he wasn't supposed to do to, to get, get Will out. out. <laughs> but I mean, Will don't know that. So Will just trying to let him know what's up. So Jeffrey had to end up, had to come over and get Will away from him. Before from he just blow up the before, spot. Yeah. So... This is when Will goes over and he sees this girl, Lisa. And I was like, when he saw Lisa, I knew Lisa was going to be a problem out the gate. But I just didn't know what kind of problem that Lisa was going to be. 
But here's the thing. When it came to Lisa, at first, I thought Lisa was someone that was intermingled into the party as far as being a running mate or somebody in that industry. Yeah. I didn't realize that she was a kid. Yeah. Because her character was so grown yeah. compared to the rest of them. Yep. And Will actually thought that she was a rich kid too, but come to find out that she's she's on scholarship. She's on scholarship too, which we'll talk about that some more when we get there. But she's not one of the rich kids. So <clears throat> Will goes over and he uh wants to order something, but this by this time Ashley comes and tried to football tackle her. Hey, hey, cousin Will. <laughs> and Ashley just as dilly as she want to be uh -huh. as she was on the show. <laughs> so she was like um, you can basically order anything that you want. Because he was looking at lamb chops. <laughs> he was, chops. Looking at he was, he was like, like, I don't know what any of this I, is. I, and I like that stuff. And I was like, this stuff looks just as bland as hell. I was mm -hmm. like, nah, nah. He was like, yo, can you fish me a Philly steak? Uh, Philly style? Homeboy hooked that junk. I mean, he uh, was quick as hell. He, yeah, too. yeah, it was like two minutes that junk was done. I was like, that junk cook all the way? Yeah, yeah, Lisa was like, you do know that you're dealing with a real chef here that has restaurants and all this. And we was like, I don't buck what you heard. He should know how to fix a <laughs> Philly cheesesteak there. And then old boy was like, yeah, Pittsburgh. <laughs> yep. So this is when, like you said, that, this is when he, he meets Lisa because Lisa walks up on him. So by this time, when he was talking to Lisa, here comes Carlton. And you could tell by the way that Lisa was looking at Carlton, you could tell that, that they, they had, had a relationship. Yeah. They had a past relationship that something didn't go right. So she ends up dismissing herself and Carlton being Carlton. Yep, Carlton being Carlton. Will like, what's up, Carlton? And Carlton was like, Yeah, so what's up with you oh, wearing my clothes? Will was like, about that Hillary. <laughs> so well I'm talking about a growth spurt. <laughs> he said, well, if uh, you're going to wear my $500 cufflinks, you know, my father said that, you the, know. The details what makes the man. man. So go ahead and uh, and maybe one day we're going to talk about. And then he got this close to his face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to talk about. He's staying why, in people's face like that. Like, I said, if you don't give me some personal space. So I can talk and breathe. <laughs> God darn it. I said, we're going to talk about why you're really here. Or is it for that better education? I'll say, here we go. Here we freaking go. Why y'all, I ain't gonna say why y'all couldn't have picked a better Jeffrey, but why y'all yeah. couldn't have picked a better <laughs> But at the same time, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Oh, I get it. But Uncle Phil ain't Uncle Phil at all. And let me tell y'all what y'all bet not do. Because this will be the shadiest skit I've ever seen in my life. Oh, y'all bet not change the Auntie Viv in the middle of the freaking season. We better not go from brown skin Auntie Viv to light skin Auntie Viv like y'all did us in real life. I forgot all about that. Nah, if y'all do that skit, I mean, I'm not gonna do nothing. <laughs> you just gonna be pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking this this whole time. I said, if y'all go from brown skin Auntie Viv to light skin Auntie Viv, <laughs> I am going to freaking lose my skin. <laughs> I ain't gonna lose my skin. All right, so now we finally got to the point where Will is actually able to talk to Uncle Phil. And Uncle Phil sets the rules. But mm -hmm. of course, Will and his pride don't wanna follow the rules. Of course not. <laughs> uh, so Uncle Phil was like, either it's gonna be my, my way. way or my we're, gonna, way. we're gonna send you back to, to Philly, which we know that wasn't an option because. He gonna get killed. Rashad like is Philly. back there waiting in, in, in Philly. So it's time for Carlton and Will to go to school because this is Will's first day at school. And come to find out that freaking Carlton runs the goddamn school. I mean, he runs everything yep. about the school. Every part of it. And he a freaking uh, lacrosse Russell. player. Uh, I guess he a He's superstar. The, superstar lacrosse the head player. Of it, whatever the head yeah, of it is. Yeah. Captain, coach. I don't know what the hell it is. So he tells he tells Will you just go ahead and do whatever you want to do today as cheese long eggs. yeah yeah Will you want to do cheese eggs as as long as it doesn't embarrass me or my the, or my family. So at this time we still see Will is still checking out Lisa. Lisa. So we <laughs> we see that he go back in the locker room and they back there. What song they were listening to? I think you wrote it down. Um, Dreams and Meek Mill. Yeah, Meek Mill. They were back there. Oh, wait a they, minute. They was ah. And I was like, I did, not, I did not expect that. 
until I heard them jokers saying ninja. Yeah, ninja. And I was like, all right, now. Because at first I thought like, it was Carlton. just background music. I said, no, they're really listening yeah. to this song. I said, Carlton, Carlton, do you hear? Do you hear them saying ninja around? You don't hear that? And I didn't, yeah. <laughs> and Will was like, oh, oh. Hey, wait, wait. Y'all not black. Yeah, yeah y'all not black. Y'all y'all can't this. say that. So Carlton. And Carlton's gonna push Will. And Will was like, so you fit in the cosign Connor's BS? Because Connor, he was pissing me off. Yeah. I wanted I wanted Will to hit him in the locker room. Yeah. Like hit him. Because it hadn't been for Carlton, he would have hit him. Yeah. So basically we know now that not only does um Lord, mm. Carlton run the school, but he's also the black token boy. Yeah. Like, he is the exception. He is the black friend that racists talk about. Yeah. That is my friend. I got a black friend. It's Carlton. Yeah. He's, so, we, it's Carlton is the, the safe the black safe guy. The safe black guy. Yeah. And so, he played along with their rules. And so, when they get back home, uh, Will is like, I can't believe you, you know, you letting them talk about, you know, use the N-word around you like that. And because they not a part of the culture. And of course, Carlton played the card that they play. Well, rappers sell means of records to them a year. With that word, you expect them it. not to say the words. Yeah. I got, yeah. <laughs> that don't give you right to say the word, especially you knowing what connotation they have towards us as black people. But of course, Carlton couldn't see it that way. So they argued. So Aunt Viv had to, had to be the one to break them up. But this was when stuff really oh, turned <laughs> left <laughs> for their relationship. Carlton lets him know that there is a party that he's going to be throwing that night. That Connor, yeah. That, that Connor is throwing that night. But uh, Will wanted to go, but what you call it? Uh, Carlton was like, oh, Carlton no. was like, no. But there was a deal worked out because Aunt Viv was like, yeah, Will, get along. Hey, being here, you will have to get along with Carlton. <laughs> if you get along with Carlton, it comes more trust that we can trust you a little bit more. So Will was 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 going to let Carlton know when he caught him doing the coke that we need to work together. We don't even we, if we fake yeah, it. Yeah, if we fake it, we just act like we're going good. So that way, on 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 Viv, on Viv can let me move solo without you. And he was like, okay, 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 but uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I said, did we turn Colton into a whole cocaine? I'm like, wait a minute. Growing up, I don't remember him being. This is definitely. Unless, unless I missed it. Nah, he won't know <laughs> cocaine. I mean, he in that lining it up. Yeah. And so he was like, why don't you knock the next time you come into my room? Will was like, well, I didn't know I was going to be interrupting a whole coke session in here. I was like, oh. So I'm like, this really, but here's my thing. If you're a cokehead and you don't want nobody else to know you're a cokehead, aren't you supposed to play nice with the person that knows your deep, dark secret? Yeah, but not, not Colton. No. All right. So now it's time for the party. So they go to the party and of course, Lisa and Will. Have are, chemistry. Yes. Doing their thing. And Colton is over there with, with uh, Connor and them. They doing this, coke. Do, still Again. doing coke. And Connor told him, it's like, you need to get Lisa back. Or are you scared? Or you gonna sit there and be a little bee and not go after her? And so he get up from snorting coke and look across the pool and he saw Will over there kissing Lisa. And I was like, and there it is. And he was in a coke and rage. Yep. But before that, Lisa had um told Will, said, listen, I, I really got something I want to talk to you about. I've been a part of the Banks family for a very long time and I've been with Carlton for a long time and I've never heard of you. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not uncommon for you not to know no, about yeah, somebody's I was like, yeah. family members that don't live in the same area, state as them. That's not really uncommon. Right. If you if they're not close. Yeah. So I was like, he was like, I've been talking to you for a little bit. I don't know nothing about your people yeah. either. So it's not, even, but she was like, I really want to know how much you know about what Carlton has been through. And I said, Say more. Yeah, what's what he done been through? Because what we already see is that he on coke. Oh, yeah. Like, what happened to it? Yeah. So the first thing I thought about was, that's why he was always... <laughs> when are we going to see that? Yeah. When are we going to see that? Because <laughs> <laughs> last, what we saw was... Uh-huh. <laughs> so, here in his coke and race, he runs across, across the other side to the pool, 
and pushes Will in the pool. And we remember that Will can't swim. Cannot swim. And so Will is in the pool. He in the sunken place. That's what it reminds me of. And Lisa is yelling at him like, why did you do that? And he was like, well, you, you shouldn't have been talking to my cousin. And so she had, Lisa had to end up jumping in the pool. And getting Will out there. And save Will. And Will gets out the pool and here come Connor talking skit. And I was like, yes. And Will knocks his A out. <laughs> yes. up again. Will knocked him out. And he went to Carlton. And by the time he was getting ready to go at Carlton, we went off. But he punched the hell out of him. Yeah. Yeah. We know we we know that he punched Carlton because he was fixed. So that was the episode yeah. that got us locked all the way in. And I told Stella, I said, Uncle Phil, I don't like Uncle Phil. I don't. Until episode two. And then we started to get the Uncle Phil that we have learned yeah. to love. But <clears throat> Uncle Phil was an a-hole. <laughs> like, yeah. he... To me, he was very judgmental of Will. It's almost like he thought of Will as this thug guy and not the guy that he really was. Like, Will made one simple mistake. He and got him, him back. But, yeah. And I yeah. was like, what the... But, I but he knew he couldn't ship him back. But right. at the same time, he kept on saying that his heart still hurts from what his father did. From but you but you ready to ship him back because... I mean, I, I, I get it, too, because, you know, he trying... He's trying to win, but we forgot this part right here was when when um when Will got over there, come to find out that even the kids, oh Ashley Carlton and, and uh even Hillary don't want kids. nothing to do with this campaign because they have to be fake. Even undefeated. She they was like, yeah. <laughs> and then I looked at Carlton and I said, Carlton has learned how to code change and work a room yeah. from his father. His father yeah. just has more swag doing it. Yeah. But he's nothing but Uncle Phil. Yep. And and from this first episode, we had our eyes on Jeffrey. We was like... Something is up with Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jeffrey was the butler. I ain't the, seen him butt I nothing. Ain't, I ain't <laughs> seen him cook nothing. I ain't seen him clean nothing yet. He's over there drinking nothing. The, the only thing I done seen him do was grab Will's bag and take it upstairs. Other than that, he ain't done shit. <laughs> I mean, he's sitting there chilling, sitting on the bar stool while yeah. they eating breakfast. Yeah. Jeffrey, what? I said, mm-mm, mm-mm. It's more to this story. Yeah, but bye. We go cut, and we're going to be back with episode so, two. All right, straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Two up, two down. Holla! Boom!